evening my dear class 11th and class 12th students basically those students who are going to enter class 11th or going to enter class 12th uh, i know some of you might be still in your head thinking i'm in class 10th or in class 11th now this is very important because um, recently there have been many instances where parents students have been completely clueless about what to do next because CBSC has been cracking down on dummy schools and even integrated programs for your JE or any competitive exam preparation. Sometimes some coachings, what they do is um, they tie up with a college or sometimes a college or a school only says that, okay, we will do these classes here, we'll do those classes here. Attendance is not compulsory, so the students can completely focus on their, uh, you know, competitive exam preparation. Well, whether it is morally correct, not correct, that is a secondary debate. Okay. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried about your future. I, I'm worried about you not being allowed for the class 12th examination. Students who are not attending the classes are not going to be allowed to sit for a board exam. If you don't sit for a board exam, then go on. What is the use of competitive exam? Because you, the minimum criteria is you have to score 75% attend 75% uh, marks in your boards so that you can be eligible for JE uh, advanced uh, you know colleges and even NITs for that matter. So it's very important that you take uh, this issue very seriously. So this is a video. This is a message for all the parents out there. Now, if you are in class 10th, moving to 11th, please do not choose a dummy CBSE school under no circumstance in fact don't even choose an integrated program which says that we will tell you to attend uh, bare minimum classes and you just have to attend the coaching we will take care of it please don't take the risk with cbsc specifically now there might be some state board schools or colleges which might be having some dummy integrated programs that as of now it depends on the state government see as of now nothing is happening in the dummy school related to the state syllabus or the state government uh, based syllabus so this is only particularly for cbse but we do not know what might happen in the near future suddenly some state might lose its school some party somebody might say something and that's it suddenly they will take action on all the dummy schools particularly it is very popular in many uh, regions which are the coaching hubs big big cities so be very careful when you are choosing a school try to avoid dummy try to avoid integrated yeah try to see a school which is okay which is not so hellbent on attendance because many schools are like you have to get 90 percent attendance see that is too much we also know in college and you also know that in college you don't learn much you learn whatever you have to mainly in your coaching at the end of the day that is the fact whether you want to accept it or not, that is a secondary. So we know that in uh, that is how that is why coaching is there, or else there was no need for me uh, to be in a, a coaching or for that matter any coaching to exist in uh, our country if class 11th and class 12th syllabus was taught properly in all these schools and colleges. There was no need for coaching to exist. You should have got good marks in all the competitive exams. So, anyways. Uh, that's another thing. Now, they are very serious about it. And as you can see, no attendance, no exam. CBSE is considering very strict rules against all the dummy schools. In fact, if you see the news which is going on on CBSE dummy schools one day ago, 11 hours ago, two days ago, one day ago, CBSE targets dummy schools, CBSE tightens rules, CBSE planning stricter rules, CBSE to prohibit exams for dummy schools, CBSE warns, CBSE cracks down. Every news article, exactly the same thing. So, now, what if you are in class 11th, moving to 12th and you are already in dummy school, please talk to the principal, please talk to your manager, please talk to the academic head on what to do next. Because if CBSE officials, the police comes, then gone. And they have clearly mentioned that the responsibility, responsibility completely lies with the student. You know what the management will say? Sorry, boss. Uh, CBSE officials caught me, police came, they caught me, sorry, I can't do anything. They will raise their hands. Then you parents and students will be confused. You will be left in the dark. Nobody will come there for you then. So please understand that nobody is going to come and help you over there. 
you will have to then fight it out it's a big trouble already you have to uh, you know uh, prepare for your competitive exams you don't want unnecessary drama in your life so talk it out now if you can change the school best or if in the same school only if you can attend 75 percent and if everything is sorted then even better so try to avoid changing schools because if maybe you can maintain that 75 percent attendance then nothing uh, problematic will happen okay so please make sure please make sure that you are choosing your school rightly talk to the officials or academic head on what is the next course of action if you are already in a dummy or integrated program and number three if you are a 10th moving 11th student try to avoid any kind of dummy cbse or integrated cbse programs instead you can choose for state syllabus integrated programs but that is also there is no guarantee what might happen in the future bare minimum attendance you can maintain do not choose a college or a school which has 90 80 percent attendance rules okay don't worry everything will be fine just these are basic things i don't want you to have unnecessary drama so i thought as a mentor as a guide i should come and guide all of you and uh, tell all the parents so please spread this message this is my humble request please all the students spread this message across all the students across all the parent community as soon as possible so that you can prevent your uh, life going into a disastrous path okay don't worry now talking about 2026 and 2027 sir are you going to do something on the vedantu j english channel which is the number one j english channel in the country well surprise is coming soon now if you are a 26 or a 27 student comment below this video yes sir i'm a 26 27 student let's see who is majority and if i start seeing more comments we'll start the courses on youtube as well as soon as possible so let's see who is more class 20 uh, class 11 class 12 2026 2027 i want to see all of you in the comment section of this particular video all right great so please like this video and share this video across all the friends okay bye bye take care have a great time